So I recently published this video talking about my testing of the AirPods Pro Generation 3 and one key feature that will really tank the overall hearing aid capabilities that you experience. And there was this great question that one of you posted on whether this was also true for the previous generation to AirPods. But I spent the morning taking some measurements in the Hear Advisor lab and I wanted to share those with you. So what we're talking about here is Apple AirPods Pro Gen 2 and 3 programmed to a typical mild to moderate hearing loss. I do have the amplification or volume setting at maximum. The tone adjustment is 100% towards brightness. The conversation boost feature is on and the ambient noise reduction will either be set at 100% off, which is less or 100% on, which is more. So with all of that out of the way, let's take a look. On this graph, the x-axis down here is frequency, or loosely you can think of that as the different tones we are able to hear, or at least the ones that we're concerned with with hearing aids. And then on the y-axis here, or the vertical axis, we're talking about volume. Right away, we're starting with this dashed line, and this is really a gold standard. It's known as NALNL2, and it's a gold standard not just for us at Hearing Tracker and Hear Advisor. It is a gold standard across the industry. And without getting into it too much, you can think that we want to see the gain or amplification of a hearing aid match this dashed line because it will offer a good balance between speech clarity slash intelligibility and good overall comfort. So when we look at Apple AirPods Pro 2 with ambient noise reduction off and on, or less or more, we see that basically the gain or amplification is identical. But what happens if we take a look at Apple AirPods Pro Gen 3? So here we're seeing that third generation with ambient noise reduction off or set at the lowest setting towards less. And the gain actually improves a little bit. You can see better gain or more gain right here in these speech frequencies, which is fantastic. So a potential improvement from generation two to generation three. Excellent. However, what happens if we turn on that ambient noise reduction feature and we set it all the way at the maximum setting towards more? Yikes, the gain drops considerably even below that of generation two. And this is really what I found in my testing that when you adjust this ambient noise reduction setting from less to more, there is a drastic change in the overall quality of hearing aid feature that you will experience. Now that's not to say that this feature is bad. If you need more comfort, this is great. However, if you are looking to optimize speech intelligibility, as I say in my full hands-on video, be sure to make sure that ambient noise reduction is set towards the lower setting. But for those of you who have commented and watched, thank you very much. I do appreciate you reaching out with those comments. It is great, and I definitely needed to take a deeper dive into this.